Hey guys, Jeff the Pet here, and today uh, we're doing some Minecraft Popular Edition. I'm on 0 0.9.1, but this also works for 0 0.9.0. I'm showing on Android right now first, and then I'm going to switch over to iOS and show you that don't, you don't have to be jailbroken to do it or anything like that. But let's go ahead and jump in. This is my world uh, from 8.1 that I started, and this is from the seed. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so this is my world from 0 0.8.1. This is the Seed Nan. You all might recognize it in just a second. But let me just run out here, and there's going to be a giant lava fall. And I'm going to show you the end of the world. And that way I can show you where it's going to spawn the new part of the world, the infinite part of the world. So if you, you might recognize that right there, the little nether reactor I set up during a... Uh, update live stream back on 8.1 so long ago i believe it was and let me just get over this hill here get skeletors chase me and i don't want to fight them because i don't have time this is going to be a as short a video as i can make it but i wanted to make it in depth from like a to z so i can show y'all you know i'm like there are no cuts or anything like that that way you can see that i'm not like you know trolling y'all and really good at editing because I'm not I'm not good at editing at all so if you see right here you can already see the end of the world it's right there and let me just go a little bit further and we'll actually bump up against the end of it see now there's nothing there so obviously I'm in a world that was before 0 0.9.0 so let me go ahead and back out all right and so that world is called My World Skizzle right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to Astro File. And in this world right here, I'm going to go in here. And what I want really is this DB for this world, this database, the database folder. But I'm going to go ahead and just take the whole thing just in case. And then I want to zip it. And, yep, My World Zip. And it's going to zip it up for me real quick. And then what I'm going to do is go into this. And then I'm going to share. Add to Dropbox. Add. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm going to start a new world. And the reason I exported it was so I could uh, just go through on iOS when I need to. And I can have the same world for y'all to see. So I'm going to call this test. And I'm going to go advanced. I already made it survival. And we go infinite. Infinite survival. Create world. So there we go. You see the world right now. And then what I'm going to do is come back out. Go to title. And it's going to crash. Okay, so it crashed. But see the test world is still there. So that's the important thing. So now what I'm going to do is go back into my uh, Astro file, and I'm going to go into this world again. I'm going to copy just this part, this uh, file folder, and then I'm going to go up one, go over to test. I'm going to delete. Oh, I'm going to paste it. I'm going to try to paste it. I'm going to delete that. Yes. And then I'm going to paste it. See, so my other DB is here instead of the, the test one that just propagated. So now I'm going to back out, go back into Minecraft Pocket Edition. It may crash. It crashed for me the first time I did this, but if you see right here, see, I was uh, in, in the NAN world. I was up against that wall or, the, you know, the end of the world. So it propagated more world for me. So you saw when I made the test server, you know, the test world, it was, uh, it looked completely different than this. So if you see right here, this is the end of the world. This is the border. And I'll, I'll go back just a little bit to show you that it's actually still Nyan. You'll be able to see the lava in just a second over this hill. But uh, this is the same little uh, world I started off in. See, there's the waterfall. And if you go just a little bit further, you can see my uh, nether reactor over there to the left with all the all the red 
the red blocks. I can't think of the name of uh, Netherrack. Netherrack. What's up? Sheep? No. Stop it. And it's going to make it up here, and we'll be able to see the lava in just a second. There it is. So as you see, I've turned that, that Nian legacy world, as they call it, you know, the old ones, and now it's an infinite world. So anything you had from the previous version of the game is going to work with infinite worlds now. So now that I've done this on Android, I'm going to show you how to do it on iOS. Okay, so now we're on iOS and we're on version 0.9.0 .0 alpha. So I want to show you, A, it works on both platforms and also on both versions. Uh, when 9.2 comes out, I'll just show you again, but it'll probably still work the same way. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make a test world real quick. That way it's easier to find because I have all these different uh, seeds for different things. So let's go in there and we'll do test and we're going to do advanced. We don't really care. It's infinite. It's survival. We're going to propagate it real quick, generate it, and there we go. If you see, I'm going to look around real quick to show you there's a desert and there's a plains biome. So let's go ahead and exit out of there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to iPhone box and I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows that you need to uh, go through on your iOS. All right, and if you see here, my iOS version is 7.1.1. Real quick, I'm just going to show you which version I downloaded a Funbox. It's iPhone Box version 2.8, and it's the EXE. Uh, it was free, so what I did was I set it up and just quick installed it. And then what you do is you go to Manage App Data, and then plug in your iDevice. Okay, so it'll pop up right over here. And then what you do is go All My Apps, click Show to All. All right, so then what I'm going to do is go to Dropbox, and I'm going to download my worlds. It says four minutes ago, but it was a little bit longer than that. If I reload it, it's that same file I downloaded or uploaded earlier. So let's just go ahead and download that real fast to the computer. And it's just easier to do it this way. I tried doing it just in a device, and I didn't like doing that. Just double-click it, and then I'm going to open it up. I'm going to do DB. All right, so I'm going to go to Funbox now that I had that open. There we go. So then once Minecraft Pocket Edition is open, you go to Documents, Games, Mojang, Minecraft Worlds. And then these are all the different worlds that are, that, that are in your iOS version. So now that I have this open here, I'm going to get this DB folder. And I'm going to go to the Test Worlds. And I'm going to make sure this is gone. Delete that DB folder. And then let me pull this back up real quick. And I'm just going to drag and drop this in. I'll left click and hold it and then drop it in. Now I'm going to switch back to Minecraft Pocket Edition. All right, so here we are again, guys, in Minecraft Pocket Edition, and I'm on the test right here. And we're going to the test world, and same thing. We should be right at the edge of the world. Here we are. And it changes up the biome here because obviously I didn't put a seed in uh, on both devices. So this is a snow biome here that has spawned, and, but you can still see out there in the distance, this is still that Nyan seed uh, from my original world from the 8.1 that I did the live streaming on. But see, I just turned into an infinite world, so I can go this way and explore, but I can always come back and I can you know, go to whatever I built inside this little old world box. But if you see right here, it cut off clean on the edges. See how clean it is right there? And that's that's not normal. So you know that that's, that's something happening there. But anyways, guys, uh, this was found by Pocket Minds. It was posted on MCPE Universe. So links in the description for those. Big shout out to both of them uh, for hosting this information and finding the information. If you like this video, guys, if you found it real helpful, make sure and, and like the video and share it. And make sure and stay tuned for more gameplay on the channel. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Schizzle!